Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through the easiest way to install the ELK stack, also known as the Elastic Stack. And if you're not familiar with the ELK stack, it's Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash put together. We're going to use DigitalOcean to install the ELK stack. I recommend you click the link down below. It will give you a $200 free trial. Let's go ahead and get started. The next step to deploying the ELK stack is to download Terraform and you can download this locally on your computer or on a remote host. And I recommend you search Terraform install on Google or whatever search engine you like. The first result is actually for an AWS tutorial and the second result is the one we want. However, if you click the wrong link, you can go ahead and just click install up here in the menu, which will bring you to this page and it will have installation instructions for Mac OS, Windows, Linux, BSD, OpenBSD, and Solaris. I'm gonna be using the Linux instructions, and so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up a terminal, and I'm gonna paste in this command and go ahead and hit enter, and it's finished. We're gonna see if Terraform was installed successfully by running terraform-v for version and hitting enter. And you can see we have Terraform version 1.9.3 installed successfully on our computer. And the next step is to go back to the search engine and type Digital Ocean Marketplace Blueprints and then GitHub. And you're gonna go ahead and click the first result. And then you're gonna go ahead and copy the repo URL. Then you're gonna open up a terminal again and type git clone and then paste the github url then we're going to go into the project by typing cd marketplace dash blueprints and then we're going to want to go into the blueprints folder and then into the elk folder and hit enter now we need to edit the variables file and set an api token key for digital ocean so we're going to do vim or nano or whatever editor you want it doesn't matter and then we're gonna edit the variables.tf file. Then we need to add an API token here. Everything else you can leave as is, or you can customize it how you like. Now to create an API token or personal access token inside the DigitalOcean dashboard is very easy. Just come here in the dashboard and go ahead and click API. Then go ahead and click generate new token. Then put in a token name. I put ELK stack. And then you can set the expiration date. I'm gonna keep it as is for this tutorial. And then we'll need to set the scopes for the API token. By default, it's on the new custom scopes, and then they have a read only and a full access. We need read and write access. The easiest way to do that is just click select all reads, select all creates, and then go down and click generate token. And then go ahead and copy your token. If you don't copy it and you lose it, you'll need to create a new token and go back to the terminal and then put the token here in between the double quotes and go ahead and save the file. And before we spin up all our servers, I do wanna mention one important thing. You need to add an SSH key if you haven't done that already. So just go back to the DigitalOcean dashboard, click settings, click security, and click add SSH key if you don't have one already added. Now we need to initialize a Terraform project by running Terraform and then init and hitting enter. And now that our project has been successfully initialized, we're gonna go ahead and run Terraform and then apply, which will spin up our blueprint, also known as our servers and hit enter. And then it asks you if you want to perform these actions, go ahead and type yes and hit enter. And it will start creating the server for Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Our servers have been successfully created. We do have a small error here that says error assigning resources to project, blah, blah, blah. Basically what this error is, is if we leave this variable blank right here, it doesn't know what project to put the servers in. If you look here on the sidebar, it says projects, and this just basically is for organization. If you don't add a project UUID 
to the configuration file. It will just go ahead and install it in the default project. You can easily move it, it's not a big deal. And you can see now that we have three servers created, we're gonna go ahead and copy the IP address of the ELK stack Kibana server and we're gonna paste it into our browser and then put a colon and specify the port. The port is 5,601, that's 5601. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter, port 5601. And we're gonna see loading elastic. You may see a message that says Kibana server is not ready yet. It may take a few minutes for you to access the server. It's gonna ask us for a username and password. To get the username and password, we need to go back to the DigitalOcean dashboard and we need to copy the IP address for the ELK stack elastic search server and go ahead and open up a terminal. We're gonna type in SSH space root at and then paste the IP address and hit enter. We're gonna scroll up and we're gonna see a few different passwords. We want this very first username and password where it says use these parameters to access your elastic search. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this password. And then we're gonna go back to the website and we're gonna put in the username elastic and then paste this password and go ahead and hit login. And then it says welcome to elastic and you can start by adding integrations and you can click add integrations or you can click explore on my own. I'm gonna click explore on my own for this tutorial. And now you guys have everything successfully installed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.